what's up welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel then welcome i'm lauren so today's video is going to be a styling video if you guys follow me on my instagram which if you don't it should be somewhere here. But anyways, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, then you know that I have been talking about creating a vintage series. This is something that I came up with in 2019. It was just me like taking a lot of inspo from Audrey Hepburn and creating some like 50s and 60s inspired looks. So I decided that I wanted to bring that back in 2021, but I'm going to do different decades. It's not gonna be the same thing I already did in 2019. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't wanna tell you guys the decade. I will mention it eventually, but right now I just feel like you guys can probably tell from the clothes I'm going to show you. If not, then it's okay because you'll figure it out if you follow me on my Instagram. So pretty much in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the pieces that I've gotten from Nasty Gal and also some things from Miss Lola that I've received so far. There are still some things that I ordered from Misguided that I have not received because I ordered them yesterday, so that won't be in this video. But anyways, I talked too much. Let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to start with Nasty Gal because they sent me some accessories that I think I can definitely use to style some of the other outfits from Miss Lola as well. So these are the pair of boots that I got from Nasty Gal. I love the heel and I know they're super chunky but this definitely reminds me of something that would be like worn at a disco. My mom actually said that these look like Frankenstein shoes which like thanks mom. I'll link these boots down below but I believe that Nasty Gal also sells these in leather. The leather kind of made it look a little bit more grayish which I was not a fan of. I definitely wanted black boots so that's why I got the suede and I definitely think that these are amazing for the looks that I'm going to be styling today. So the next accessory that I got are these pink sunnies. They're like clear pink sunglasses and I just love them. I think they look so cute. Definitely the cat eye fits into the era as well. And then the last accessory I got from Nasty Gal is this gorgeous butterfly necklace. I got this because I really like the butterflies. I don't think it really has to do anything with the decade, but I just liked it. And I think it would be a really cute piece to accessorize with. And I feel like a vintage series is the perfect occasion to wear something like this. Okay, so this is the first dress and it is this really sheer, I think this might be like a bikini cover, but I could be wrong. It's just like a mesh material, so it's definitely really see-through and I am wearing a tank top and the same shorts I was wearing earlier under this. But I do have like some Spanx and it's like a full-on, I forgot what that's called, but it's like the full-on um, body shaping. It's like Spanx pretty much, that is like a full piece, so it's like a tank top and shorts and I think that's what I'm gonna wear, so it's like the same color as my skin. My idea for this dress is to do like some cool blue eye makeup and then do something fun with my hair. So this is what the dress looks like with the boots. I love these boots so much and I think they definitely complete the look. Like the dress print definitely looks very like retro, but the boots just... For this look, to finish it off, I wanna do something with like a big hoop. So like I have thick gold hoops that I think would be cute. I'm still trying to figure out the hair situation because I definitely feel the hair is what's gonna make or break this outfit. So I'm trying to figure it out. I do have though. So I created these bangs off of like some extensions that I had. I just literally did my roots. So these are not gonna blend in as well as they did when my roots had grown out this dark. I will put them in and show you kind of what it looks like, but I definitely think it's gonna complete the look, so. Bear with me. Okay, <laughs> before you make fun of me, I have to style these. I literally just clip them on, but like I know I have to style them so they don't come for me from far away. And if you squint really hard, it doesn't actually look that bad and it might just make the look even better. So for now, let's just pretend that they are my natural hair and they look amazing and gorgeous, but let's move on to the next look. So this is the next dress that I got from Nasty Gal. I just feel very like, let's go out to dinner, but on a vacation, you know, like those are the vibes of this dress. But I absolutely love it. The silhouette is really cute. And I think what drew me the most is that it has like this knot in the center. They used to have like these like rings in their clothing and it kind of reminded me of that, even though it's not the same thing, but it kind of looks like it. So it reminded me of something that could pass as like a retro piece. And then I'm styling it with the black boots, but I don't want any of my skin to show so it definitely has to be like a whole black moment. I'll move the camera a little bit so that you can see the whole look but let's accessorize first. So my vision for this dress was to style it with this necklace so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on because I just think it's so cute. Of course. So this is what the necklace looks like on and I love it. I think I can definitely put it a little bit tighter so it's more like a choker but I definitely think that this dress because it's off the shoulder it needed something so that's why I picked this little necklace. And then the last thing are these pink sunnies because you need a little bit of pink or color in your look. The only thing is hair. Guys, I know you're gonna make fun of me, but again, these bangs, like this looks good with everything, I swear. I'm gonna do something and I'll be right back. Okay, okay, okay. You guys, this 
hair. I know it, does, it still doesn't look perfect, but like, I mean, and then let me show you the whole look. I mean, I'm in love. Okay, but these bangs though, they're like poking my eyes out. So the only thing I will say about these bangs, other than the fact that the roots are crazy, um, is that they're poking my eyes out, so they're a little uncomfortable. But for pictures, okay, I'm in love. Okay, moving on. So the next piece are these white pants. They're a little bit long on me, but by a little bit, I mean like an inch or two, which is normal for nasty gal pants. I always have to like cut them or wear like high heels or something with them. But this is what they look like. They're really cute and beige and they have like these lines on them. They're high-waisted, so they're just kind of like a fun pant. For this outfit, I also got this scarf, which I have to see how big this is. Okay, so I ended up getting the scarf and I love the print of it, definitely gives me very retro vibes, but I didn't know if I wanted to do like a scarf in the hair kind of thing and then just wear like a white tank top and that would be the look. But then I started thinking about it and I've seen girls that they take a scarf and then they make it into like a top, like a halter top kind of. So I wanna see if I can do this with this one. So first thing, I just have to find a necklace that I can attach this to. Okay, so to make the scarf top, I'm just gonna take one of the corners and I'm gonna take a safety pin. This one's kind of big, but this is what I had in my room. And then I'm also gonna take this like chain necklace. Pretty much I'm gonna loop it through and then this little part that's like looping on the other side, I'm going to just safety pin that in place. And then I'm just gonna put this on and then tie it on the back. So it's gonna be like a triangular scarf. So that's what I'm going for. Hopefully it works. Okay, this is definitely a look. I love how this top turned out. I'm not wearing the correct bra for this at all. I just kind of tucked in the straps, but I think it looks so cute. The print is amazing. I love how it looks with this little chain and we need to find some shoes. Uh, Miss Lola was kind enough to send over some shoes as well. So these are the shoes. They're just like chunky heeled sandals and I think they would look really cute with this look. So let's do it. I have to take off my socks though because <laughs> that would look really weird. <laughs> and of course, the little sunnies. I'm honestly obsessed at how good this top came out. I definitely think it looks very retro. I also love that the pants are a little bit more off-white and the chunky heels just kind of finish off the very retro vibe. Guys, don't come for me about the little sticker because I know I have to take it off. It's just really hard to remove for whatever reason and I just don't feel like doing that. But yeah, this is the third look. Okay, so now we're moving on to Miss Lola and Miss Lola was kind enough to send a bunch of cute things. They sent over this purple bikini set. They sent this really cute cashmere set, which I may or may not make as the fifth outfit in this video. I'm still debating. They also sent this really pretty like pink and purple scarf. They had actually sent a set, which I was wearing the pink shorts earlier. It's just like a pink shorts, like high-waisted shorts with a pink tank top. But the highlight of the Miss Lola haul was definitely this white dress. So on their website, they have a girl that's wearing it like this, but you can also also move the strap down and then this one down and make it like an off the shoulder dress as well. I think that's really cute that it's a very versatile piece, but I love the color. I love the little cutout here, which is what makes it a little bit more retro. But I wanted to show you guys these shoes that they sent because one pair of those shoes is the one that goes amazing with this dress. So these are the pair of shoes I'm going to be wearing with this dress. They're the cutest white bow, like heeled sandals. And they also sent over these like pink ones. The flip flop part is rouged, which is so pretty and they're like silky and soft. And again, it's like a heeled sandal, but but for this look, these are the, these are the ones. All the retro looks that I have so far in my head. Like I said, I did order some things from Misguided, and I think that those retro looks are even like better than these. Follow me on Instagram for any updates on the vintage series that I'm going to be creating later this month, and also so that you guys can see all the pictures once I finish shooting all of the looks. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you guys like the video. Like always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video.